two stories. One is fact, one is fable. Can you figure out which is which? Welcome to Fact or Fable. In this series, I'll present to you two stories. It is your job to determine which of these stories is true and which is false. In this episode, we'll take a spooky trip to the past with two urban legends involving witches. Are you ready? Let's begin. The Curse of Colonel Jonathan Buck. Our first story takes place in Massachusetts in the 18th century. Colonel Jonathan Buck was a Puritan who would not tolerate witchcraft in his community. So when a woman was thought to be a witch, he sentenced her to be burnt at the stake. On the day of the execution, the woman made sure to get her revenge. She looked at the colonel and said, Jonathan Buck, listen to these words. You will soon perish. Over your grave they will erect a stone that all may know where your bones are crumbling to dust. But listen, upon that stone the imprint of my feet will appear, and for all time will the people from far and wide know that you murdered a woman. Colonel Buck passed away in 1795, and his grandchildren erected a monument near his grave. True to her curse, the form of a leg and foot appeared on the stone. Several attempts have been made to remove it from the stone, but it always comes back. People see this as proof that the witch succeeded at cursing Colonel Buck for all of eternity. The Devon Witch In 1682, in Devon, England, Temperance Lloyd was accused of witchcraft. Other neighbors saw her with what they thought was the devil in the shape of a black man and accused her of making another woman fall ill by using sorcery. They even went as far as saying that this devil also visited her in the shape of a magpie who would fly to her window so it could feed off of her body. Temperance even confessed to witchcraft and said that she had known the devil. After a trial where all the evidence was examined, she was convicted and hanged. So, there you have the two stories. Which one is fact and which one is fable? Does the story of the witch's mark on the colonel's grave ring true? Or was another witch truly consorting with the devil and faced punishment because of it? Pause now to comment with your answers. The story of Colonel Jonathan Buck is fable. While Colonel Buck really existed and there is indeed a foot-shaped stain in the monument near his grave, the witch-burning story did not happen. The famous New England witch trials happened 27 years before he was born, and there are no records of any burnings in that area after that time. All of the records of this legend are from after the lake-shaped stain appeared, which means that people came up with this fable after seeing it. As much as this story could have been true, it was all a fabrication of people's imagination. The story of the Devon Witch is... Fact. Temperance Lloyd was indeed accused of witchcraft and hanged in August 1682. The evidence used for this conviction was mostly based on hearsay and gossip rather than reality and there's no proof she ever did anything to harm anybody. The population was extremely superstitious and were looking for supernatural answers to things that they didn't understand. There's now a plaque where the trial happened so people don't forget temperance and the unfair treatment she suffered. So, how well did you do? Let us know in the comments, and until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your mind sharp. I'm Miranda, and I'll see you next time.